Welcome back, my friends. Thank you so much for joining me on this video. Hope you're all doing well. I am out here at Expedition Superstore getting my next mod for the Tacoma installed. And I have been on kind of a journey to try and find just the right one for me. And I've run into a couple of snags with another company that was running into some product issues and they didn't want to sell those so i do appreciate their quality control over there but i couldn't wait for them to get another shipment in so i came over here to expedition superstore and i found the one that's going to work for me and we are going to be installing a rooftop tent or in my case a bed rack tent because <laughs> i've already got roam boxes up on top so, this will be the final configuration. Well, maybe not final configuration, but this will be the configuration for the Tacoma. So, let's get into it. Just run your bolt through these mounts. It'll go up through here. And that is going to line up underneath the crossbars. Now, one of the things with this particular rack is that my chase light bolts, or at least nuts, uh, don't line up perfectly to center this without creating a space in the rack, or on the, on the rails. So if I wanted this dead center on the rack, we'd have to do a spacer because that nut lines up exactly for both rails. And if you don't have this particular setup, you'll actually use these U-bolts in order to tie it into your crossbars. All right, now one of the things we kind of ran into on the Saints Off-Road bed rack <clears throat> That you may not run into on other bed racks is this top this top bar here as you can see it does stick over quite a bit over now what we're running into is on this side the latch mechanism actually was hitting the top of the crossbar so we had to actually shift it more passenger so that way, there was clearance for the latch to unlock. So now, it's just tightening up the mounting bolts. And the install is done. And as you can see, with this three-quarter height bed rack, Everything kind of keeps aligned, and the highest point on my Tacoma 
is still my Rome boxes. But it, it lines up really nice, still keeps the sleek look and keeps the aerodynamics of the Tacoma pretty, pretty good. Now the guys over here at Expedition Superstore also do other installs as well. This Tacoma is getting an Adelief. Now when you're all done, just throw on the uh, rail caps for a nice clean look. Friends, that's going to wrap it up for this install. Hope you did enjoy it. And if you're looking for a rooftop tent, hopefully it gave you some good ideas on how to mount it or to figure out kind of what your specific setup is going to run. If you guys are in the Salt Lake area, come down and check out Expedition Superstore. Talk to any of the guys here to answer, and they'll answer any of your questions that you have on not just rooftop tents, but other camping essentials such as awnings or even some of, uh, some of the cases, bumpers, lights. They've got a pretty good store here, so come down, check them out, and just talk to anybody down here. Very knowledgeable people. Really appreciate them working with me to get this install done. So, if you like this video, please make sure to hit that like button. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of the 23.0 Armadillo A. This is the A2 version. Or let me know what you guys went with or are looking at as far as a rooftop tent. Leave that down in the comment section below. Make sure that you're subscribed for future videos because I will be doing a, an open and close and kind of sh show you the ins and outs of the Armadillo A2 coming up soon. Thanks again for sticking with me. We'll catch you in the next video. Peace.